I call for a cab from my home to go to the airport. It's going to take an hour to get there if they ever come. Um, I do want to tell everybody, I didn't get to say this at the table, I forgot. Um, every one of your council members at the table received a packet. It includes uh, Q&A on the wheelchair accessibility issues. It's, it's a very quick, at a glance, wheelchair accessibility primer. And it also includes answers to all of Marty Hill's allegations on the insurance issue, which I know our expert did not do a very good job addressing that. But all of those are addressed in writing in that package that you got. Um, well, I, I don't want to take up everybody's time, so I just have one last question. So, my question would be, if if, when I, if I, Brooke wants to bring in 100 cabs, start a cab company here in Houston, and if she, wouldn't it be up to Brooke's cab company in order to make business being a free enterprise system, I still don't understand the rationale for not expanding the number of permits. If she wants to take a shot coming town, and serve the city uh, to keep it artificially capped. I still don't understand. The we would have to change the ordinance yeah. to do that at this point. Well, the mayor said we change the ordinances all the right. time. We do, and that was actually the reason for the taxi cab study, is we were trying to get at what should the taxi cab industry in Houston look like. One of the things that the mayor said was she doesn't want 400 cars sitting out at the airport all the time. She wants them running around Houston. She wants them to be available for the suburbs. She wants them to be available for the bars. How do you do that? You get a baseline of demand, which is what Dr. Cooper's doing for us right now. And then you figure out what do all of the different participants in the market do to affect that demand. We've never known that answer. And now we finally have the technology to do it. By imposing the mandatory credit card GPS systems that are supposed to be within, within the next 180 days put into each taxi cab, if this passes, we'll finally have that granular trip data that we've been looking for. So if we find out all of a sudden that maybe Sharpstown's not getting served, people don't want to go to Sharpstown, maybe we issue special permits so the cabs will go to Sharpstown. Maybe we issue special permits so that more cabs will operate in that area downtown. And by the way, the airport's going to take care of part of the problem because they're going to shut down that holding lot where all those 400 cabs have been sitting. It's going to have a maximum capacity of 120 cabs. So what's going to happen to all those taxi cabs? Our proposal was going to be, let's put them all on dispatch. Same thing LA did. LA used to have the same problem we did. The cabs only go to the airport one in five days. Why? Because now they've all got dispatch and they run all over the city. And they serve all of LA people. In Houston, we don't have that. In Houston, we have people who want to sit at the stands, they want to sit at the airport, they want to do two trips a day, and they have to be airport trips. So even if you're at a hotel stand, if you want to go from here to George R. Brown, or you want to go from the Doubletree to George R. Brown, they're not going to take you because it's a short trip. They need two $70 trips a day. So, <clears throat> Tina, would it, uh, Director Pies, would it be fair to say that what we're looking to do at this point is to have data drive our ordinance, but unfortunately there's no data available at this time? There. And, there, and there probably won't be for about a year because it's going to take them a while to get there. But eventually, council's going to be able to make decisions based entirely on data and not just on uh, very, very good, compelling arguments around the council table. So are you saying the reason we keep it artificially capped if a new entrant wants to come in for traditional taxi service is to protect Brooks Cab Company because they don't know better? That we, we are protecting our incumbents because our incumbents have a very, very strong voice. Okay, thank you.